Hey everyone, Sam here from Barn2 with a straightforward and simple method for creating a searchable PDF library within WordPress. This method uses just one plugin and works for other types of files too, such as documents and media files. Here's a peek at what we're going to create today. This PDF library includes search features and can be open for public use or secured by a password for employee or member access only. For those of you who just came here for the tutorial, you can jump ahead to this timecode using the navigation bar. But before I get to that, allow me to elaborate a little bit about Document Library Pro, which is the plugin that I'll be using today. The plugin lets you add and manage your own documents into a library straight from the WordPress admin. Then, as you've just seen, you can list PDFs in a searchable table or grid on the front end. And this can be further customized to suit your own needs. Click the first link in the description below to learn more about Document Library Pro and to view the demo for yourself on our website. But why should you even bother creating a PDF library in WordPress? Well, basically, when it comes to file management, the standard WordPress file system doesn't always meet the needs of businesses and their users. For example, you can add PDFs to the media library but there's no way to create a searchable PDF database on the front end. With our dedicated plugin, however, you can automatically generate a comprehensive database of downloadable files for your users. The Document Library Pro plugin lists documents for staff, service users, or customers, giving users the option to read the file immediately online or download it for later. Here are some real-world examples of PDF libraries created by our customers which allow them to organize and share valuable information with their site visitors and staff. Other common uses include policy knowledge banks, human resources information, downloadable forms, publications and white papers, and general information pages. Now I'd like to show you how to create a PDF library in just three steps. Step one is to install the Document Library Pro plugin. Yes, you do need a pro license of the plugin to follow along with this tutorial today. But don't worry, every purchase comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out for yourself risk-free. Once you've purchased your copy, you'll get a zip file and a product key, which we'll use for the installation. Then on your WordPress site, go to Plugins and click Add New on the menu or up the top here. Click the Upload Plugin button and drop the zip file here and click Install. The setup wizard will open, prompting you to activate your license key. Once activated, you can choose to either go through the rest of the setup wizard or skip it as I'm gonna do now. I wanna save some time and get to the good stuff. Then I'll come back to the settings later on. Step two is to add your PDFs to the library. There are four easy ways to upload PDFs to WordPress. Each of these methods will store the PDF files in the WordPress media library while also creating a post in the document section of the WordPress admin to store extra information. This makes it possible to display all of this information in the front end PDF library along with download links. Feel free to use whichever upload method will save you the most time. This will depend on how many PDFs you need to add and whether or not they're stored in the media library already. Option one is to add PDFs manually via Documents, Add New. Enter all the data that you plan to display about the PDF, such as the title and a brief description. Then use the Document Link section to upload the actual PDF file to WordPress. Option two, select PDFs already in the media library and use the Bulk Actions dropdown to add them to the document library. Option three, drag and drop PDFs to WordPress via Documents, Import, and finally option 4, Import PDFs from CSV by adding all the data plus the URL of the PDF to a CSV file. You can then upload it via Documents, Import. You can even download a sample CSV file to help you format the data before importing it. Our extensive plugin documentation, which is linked below, contains full instructions for all of these methods or you can watch this video to see how to complete each method in more detail. No matter what though, be sure to add plenty of information about each PDF during the upload process, including relevant search phrases, document types, and other references. The more time you take when uploading and labeling your PDF documents, the better the user experience will be on the front end. 
Step three is to display your PDFs in the library. Once you've added some PDFs, you can finally list them in a front-end facing library on your website. To do this, go to pages in the WordPress admin and view the page called document library. Rename this to something else like PDF library if you like. You can then go to documents, settings, and document libraries and tweak the settings to customize the library. For example, you can choose a different layout such as a table or a tiled grid like this one here. You can choose what data to display about each PDF and whether to structure the PDF library into folders based on their categories. You can also add filter dropdowns to help users find PDFs by category or tag. Just visit the document tables tab in settings to enable and tweak this option. Depending on the nature of the documents your library contains, you may wish to add password protection to ensure that only logged in users can access them. The simple way to do this is to get the password protected categories plugin. I've linked to a tutorial below about how to do this because it's outside of the scope of this video. And pro tip, if you want to save a bit of money, you can actually buy both of these plugins together in a bundle on our website. Finally, remember to preview the documents and the library itself before you click publish. This is an opportunity to tackle any display or formatting problems before the PDF library goes live. Now I have a little bonus step for you. In case your users need a way to search within the contents of the PDF files, there is an additional plugin for this. By adding the search WP plugin to Document Library Pro, users will be able to search for terms found within the PDFs to find what they're looking for. All right, thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. As always, links to every plugin mentioned as well as more in-depth tutorials can be found in the description below. Or check out this video next. And as always, thanks for watching.